Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Tinker Crate unboxing for January 2020, and I'm really excited to do this. And honestly, when I read the title, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> so I'm excited to do it so that I can figure out what it is even supposed to be. But if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to show you different unboxings like this one and to give you different curriculum ideas and organizational ideas. And so if you're interested in those things, please subscribe below and let's get into this box. So this one says it's a ballista, which honestly, I don't even know what that means. It says build a ballista and experiment with trajectory. So we get to learn together today because I have no idea what that means. So when we open it, we have our instructions right here and our traditional blueprints that come with it. And it actually looks like it has some different games on the back that you can play. So it's like some sort of launcher, it looks like, of sorts. So there's that part. And then we have our instructions on the back. So here's a picture of what it is. Kind of like a slingshot type thing, catapult. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see. So it has some different experiments in here you can do. And then to, it says you can mess with the angle and different things like that. So this looks like it would be a really good physics type of type experiment to do. And then a bow and arrow challenge back here at the end. So there's a lot of good extra resources in this book. So we have some little foam kit things for the ballista and then some string. And this has some numbers, it has the degrees right here and some extra like zip ties and stuff. So I don't know what we'll use all that stuff for, but we have some screws right there and then some little balls. They just look like really small ping pong balls. And then we have some more wooden pieces right here to put it all together. And then it comes with some cups. I don't know if this is what you're trying to hit. You can build a tower maybe, I guess we'll see. And that's all that's in this box. So I'm excited for him to build it and to experiment with it because honestly, I'd never heard of a ballista before this box. <laughs> so I'm gonna let him get into it and we will let you know how it goes. So Mazer just finished doing the Tinker Crate and I thought it was a lot of fun. My five-year-old actually knew what a ballista was and I do not. <laughs> he knew from How to Train Your Dragon, which I have seen, but apparently I just missed that part and he remembered it. So I felt a little bit silly for not knowing. But Mazer, are you gonna show us what it looks like? So let's turn it, oh. yeah. there you go. That's what it does, <laughs> it shoots balls. So this is what it looks like right here. And you pull this string and then it pulls back at the top and then you release and the ball flies out the top. So it just has these teeny little balls right here. And then I just dropped it on the floor. <laughs> and then it also comes with these cups so you can make a tower and you can try to knock over the tower with them. So what was your favorite part, bud? And building the ballista. Building the ballista, which is what the project was. So it's a good thing you liked it. Okay, what about the hardest part? Uh, with the string. The string. So this one has all these little strings right here. In this part, there's strings right here that you have to pull through to the back. There's this string. So a lot of the, you have to thread them using a crochet needle that they supply. You don't have to get your own, but they supply it. And some of the holes are big enough that you can just stick the string through, but it's actually, it was actually really hard for him to use this and get it through the holes. It was slightly difficult for me and I know how to crochet, but we still got him through and worked it out. And I actually cut these right here and then used a lighter to burn the end so that the knots won't come out. So you can do that. Obviously don't let your kids do that, but you could do that. So I thought it was a fun project. Again, it was a lot harder for him to complete it by himself just because of all the strings. So I had to help a lot more with this one than I usually do, but we still had fun doing it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
So if you are interested in seeing more unboxings like this and just learning more about our homeschool life, please subscribe below and we will see you next time. Bam! <laughs>